Good morning, everybody. This is Mark, and we're back here for T3 Live. It's Thursday, and uh, getting to the end of the week. So we have Fed Day today. I think that's going to be interesting. We obviously had the Apple announcement yesterday. Um, definitely a wild day with Apple. No definitive pattern, but it did hold its 20-day. And now, obviously, being up five today, it's back on its uptrend, you know, above 680, 682, 683. It seems like it's hitting the 700 mark um, shorter term. So I think it's something I would keep on the radar. Um, you know, where everybody was trying to think it was going to go to 700 before the announcement, maybe it just does it a little easier after the announcement. Certainly something on my radar. Google took it, took, uh, held its 21 day and got involved with it around 586. You know, it obviously hit 580 yes, or 680 yesterday, has re rebounded, should again flop around between 690 and 6 and 710 uh, for a period of time at this point in time. No definitive. A plus pattern to like to say you got to go all in, but I think that's the key. Um, we have Fed meeting, which again historically is not a great day, and just from a trading point of view, so you got to put that in perspective. And we've we're hovering up here. All the moving averages, all, all, all the indices look great. The spiders, IWMs, Qs, lagging a little bit, but I think they'll play catch up. They're still above key moving averages. Um, so today, really. I don't have a whole lot I'm really going to get involved with. LinkedIn I'm still waiting for. Amazon I'm still waiting for. It was downgraded, I think, this morning. Um, some of the retailers, I think, look really good. Uh, but again, a lot of things have, a lot of these stocks have come a long way fast. I think it's our job really to figure out how to really time into it again. Keep talking about the home builders. I keep missing it for some reason. I just don't go to that industry. Um, but they're all at new highs, yearly highs. They've doubled basically in the last eight months. Tremendous, tremendous run for them. I don't think it's over yet. Um, certainly keep them on the radar across the board. And so, you know, like I said, overall, nothing has changed for me in, in, in what, the, what I think the market's going to do. But I do think it's always good to take some risk off the table, um, you know, when the Fed's coming out. But right now we're hanging in there and we had a chance to, we do have the chance spiders they're trying to sell these spiders it just doesn't seem to come to fruition the way everybody wants it to and that being said the strongest best in breed stocks when they move down to, when they come down to moving averages that's where you have to get involved and that's what i'm doing goldman sachs jp morgan we keep talking about the banks goldman sachs you would think it would rest and it just keeps you know grinding a little higher looking like it wants to hit 120 and then we'll probably take a break jp morgan Hit the forty-dollar level, which is filling the gap. Might might need to take a break, but it looks like it's going to play catch up compared to some of these other stocks. So overall, guys, today I'm going to take a step back. I've been first half an hour of the day is obviously manic. I'm going to take a little bit of a step back, but some of the stuff I've been working on yesterday, the Googles, even Apple, uh, I think you're going to have some more continuation to the upside um, at some point in time. I just think you got to be prudent on your prices as always. So good luck today. Don't be too aggressive today, knowing the Fed's coming out and Big Ben's going to be speaking, and I'll talk to you all later. recognize, adapt, and ultimately take advantage of different market conditions. To begin your training with T3 Live, we would like to offer you the opportunity to enroll in our free 30-day online home study course. Fill in your name and email address, and I'll see you on the other side.